Hello everyone, I'm the Metal Addict. Today, we are doing some sea fixed. Why? Because I hate myself. I have not had any luck in anything outside of NIS and court. So, hopefully I survive. Because I am losing a lot of eye rating and safety rating for doing these stupid races. But we are not a quitter. Still uh, throws me off a bit how little you have to turn the wheel. Even on 16 and 1. Okay, I need to turn the force feed back up. This thing turns really well. And even on a 16 to 1, I still feel like I'm a little bit back and forth on the wheel. Typically a little bit higher than I like my force feed back, but... We'll be fine. Well, at least they didn't break the draft model in the trucks. It's only the cup cars that are a giant pile of crap. These things are like autopilot easy. So nice. We got a 25 lap race, so I think we're gonna go old school with my old strategy I always used to do. Just sit right in the back, wait for the wreck. Logitech truck up there is a little back and forth. Green truck's like, nope, out. Done. Done with this. Move up so he, he at least has a uh, lane to come up to. Heading into three. Yeah, I am just not fully convinced there's not going to be a massive pile up in front of me at some point. Like, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. And the problem is, like, there's just nowhere to go. No line has a real massive advantage that kind of keeps the cycle going. Because usually the best drafting is when the high line at some point prevails. People drop down 
and you can kind of just keep cycling the high line. But when like neither line can do anything, it's just it causes stupid moves. That's the only way to pass. Truck has had enough. I think the guys who are back here want to be back here. That's why I had no real issues lifting because I think everyone from like me on back has made a conscious decision just to sit back here wait for the mess that we all know is going to happen to happen. Although, who, who knows? Maybe this could be the first sea fix ever. We did caution freight. We could be seeing history here, folks. What is on this rear? rear? I, I don't even want to know, but... Someone probably has an idea what that is and can appreciate whatever it is. I have no idea. Many people know who you are. You know, for being too wet as long as they have up there, I'm really surprised how relatively calm things have looked. Easier by now, we've had one close call or almost death, and things actually seem to be pretty okay up there. A little bit, a little bit of wiggling around, but nothing. I've seen way scarier out of way higher splits. See what it looks like in another 11 laps. Well, the nice thing is, is we are truck number 14. So really, we have a lot more to gain than we have to lose. Just sneaking inside the top 10 with a 0x, and I come away with some positive irony. Which sometimes weeks like this is just what you need to do. It's just not go for the win every race and go to just try to go to survive. Just get what you can. Most of the wrecks happen from people trying to win from 7th, 8th on back on the last lap. Sometimes you just got to accept you're not going to win. Just take what you can and you can come away from Super Speedway Weeks with three, 400 iron gains. I have done it multiple times. 
Last year or so, it's not been good though. I have died way more than I have survived. But usually weeks like this is where I really shoot up my rating. That's also when I sit and do like 20 races in a week, which it doesn't happen anymore. At some point it will. Oh no, I'm getting fast. How terrible. I think I'm far enough back. I'm in the I am banking on a massive wreck train. I actually like that I'm even further back. It's a lot less chance of me getting run over. Okay, I'm kind of surprised we haven't died yet. I'm going to be honest. It looks like things are starting to ramp up up there. It looks like the side drafting is getting a little bit more aggressive and they're getting a little closer. I think I should really probably raise my virtual mirror a little bit up. Team dip. He's like, yep, not, not doing this. Have fun.
Oh boy, that guy was whooping. I'm gonna get up here and die. Oh man, this wreck's gonna be spectacular. It's coming. Yeah, what is that? This is gonna be glorious. Three wide death. Don't know where to be like it's one of those just pick your death wow dang is that how it ends Yeah, I don't know how that wasn't. Okay, back to three wide. Back to normal, folks. Resume your three wide action. I hit the brakes and yeah, yeah, I'm perfect spot. Here's where the big one's gonna be. Don't come back up. <laughs> oh my god.
going to work? <laughs> Everyone just like went for the open. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, you know what? I'm not even mad about that one. I'm not even mad about that one. Like, at this yeah. second, I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna pull off something epic. I thought I won that for a second. Oh my goodness. Did that, I kill someone? That was, that was amazing. Did I? I had a good winner. Oh, that was an act kill, but I killed someone. Of a second. Wow. Max, thank you for staying with me that entire time. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, man. Damn, that was close. Like a real truck finish at Daytona. I, was, I thought about going to the outside. Like, like, like right line, here. I'm like, oh. The entire, like the entire race. Although I think I would have died anyway, but I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna pull I off something no really plan, sweet. I had no plan, but you were behind me, and <laughs> I've raced with you so many times. I'm that, so I am so happy. But like I moved up a tiny bit because I saw the 16 move up here. Like that kind of spooked me up. So the winner was upside down. Man, that was a pretty good finish. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even mad about that one. Not even mad. Hope you guys enjoyed the race. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Always helps the channel out when you do so. And until next time, see you again soon.